By the middle of the 19th century, the U.S. Congress was eager to expand its power over Indian lands in the West, even if it meant breaking the treaties that it signed with the tribes. In 1862, it passed what's known as the Homestead Act, which President Abraham Lincoln signed into law. Under the act, any U.S. citizen could claim 160 acres of land in areas the government had targeted for settlement. Many of the giant squares that one sees when flying across the Great Plains today are those very same 160-acre plots that were forged out of the prairie in the late 19th century by homesteaders. After the Homestead Act was passed, hordes of hopeful pioneers raced to the Great Plains to claim their own piece of American soil. But they all quickly discovered that free land did not mean a free ride. Prairie soil was extremely tough, and it required backbreaking work to turn it into productive farmland. There were also punishing winds, cycles of rain and drought, blizzards, tornadoes, and harsh temperatures. The new settlers who were transforming the plains knew little of the region's age-old cycles of rain and drought. And soon, their own farming practices would turn what they had hoped would be a Garden of Eden into a barren land of dashed dreams and dust-filled skies.